Hey and welcome to the Wireframe Play Blaster launch video. I've been super excited about finally being able to talk about the tool as I truly believe that this is something which will benefit and help a lot of artists like you. Creating unsubdivided wireframe overlays of smoothed models can actually be quite tricky, which is why we set out to create a tool which takes all the hard work out of the process. So what does the Wireframe Play Blaster tool actually do? Well, it takes all those annoying steps out of creating those overlays and puts it entirely into as little as a few clicks. Also bringing a lot of Maya's hidden functionality and putting it into a super simple UI. What does this mean for you, the artist? Extremely fast and high quality results. But don't just take my word for it, I'm going to show you. For example, just look at the time difference here. This is a comparison time lapse, comparing someone manually setting up the viewport versus someone who's using our tool. You can definitely see the efficiency from using the Wireframe Play Blaster. The tool, by design, is super simple, but don't let this fool you. A lot is going on under the hood, and we've gone through the process of optimizing all the viewport 2.0 settings, so you can be rest assured you're getting the best results possible. From today, the Wireframe Play Blaster is out on my Gumroad store, and as of right now, there is a summer sale on, so be sure to get your 75% off with the code in the video's description. But do be quick as this 75% off will be dropping to 50% at the beginning of next week. I do want to quickly say that I really wouldn't have been able to bring you this tool without my good friend Dennis Spackoff, who's put a lot of his time into making a tool we both believe will be a great addition to your workflows. Dennis is a pipeline assistant at Framestore, so I can assure you that this tool has been in great hands during its creation. So be sure to check him out on Instagram to see what he's been up to. Here's some pretty sick look dev projects to check out. And it's probably the place to go if you want to follow along with our tool developments. He's often posting teasers and other great content. Without further ado, let's just quickly run over how to use the tool, which should also help you get a better idea of the features. Installing the tool is super simple. And once you've done it, you'll have a nice shelf and little icon to launch the script. Clicking on the icon, well, launches the tool. Most of it by design is pretty self-explanatory, but I think the best way to tackle this logically is to go from the top to the bottom. Also note that if you ever get stuck, there are useful tool tips if you hover the mouse over the different sections. Starting up here, we have the option for the camera selection, where you can choose the camera you'd like to play blast. And below this, we have the wireframe settings, where we can change the color and thickness of the lines allowing you to get the appearance just how you want. The great thing about this tool is that it's real time, so if we go ahead and enable the wireframe mode using the button just down here, we can go ahead and make changes on the fly, which removes a lot of trial and error. So maybe we can choose another color and just increase the thickness. And of course, if at any point you don't like what you've done, you can just press this reset button up here, which will quickly get you back to where you started. Moving on though, the frame range by default is taken from the timeline, but of course you can make changes as you require, for example if you only need one frame for a still render. You can choose between PNG and JPEGs as the file formats. And notice how the play blast button down here is greyed out. This is because we need to select a file name and destination, which we can quickly do so by clicking on the browse button, choose where we want to save it. Down here we do give you a default name but feel free to change the name of the sequence however you like. And then, really? Once you've done that, you're pretty much all good to go. It really is that simple and that fast. I should also mention that if you needed to make changes to the scene or needed to close the tool for any reason, that's no issue at all as you can just pick up right where you left off as the tool remembers your settings. To find out more, head over to the Gumroad link and have a read of the product description to find out exactly what you will get with your download once purchased. As I mentioned before, there's a summer sale on, so check out the description to find the 75% off discount codes before they drop to 50% next week. Dennis, thank you for all you have contributed. He's definitely worth checking out on Instagram, so be sure to do that. Thanks for watching this video and we wish you all the best with your showreel and portfolio creations.